it was very formative, my time at, at drama school. It was, I was very young, I came here at 17, so I was very green. Uh, I was a young 17 year old, I'd say. And uh, I, it, it was three years of very intensive growing up, experiencing life, and, uh, and of course getting to do what I'd always wanted to do. It was a, it was a huge release, uh, you know, coming straight from school where you were doing sort of double maths and history and hating every second of it and suddenly it felt like I was released into the wild. It was, uh, it, they were three of the most important years of my life. I think they were hugely uh, informing of, of who I became and I said I, I wouldn't have stood a chance in the professional world without my three years here. Well, my relationship with Scotland has been going on for quite some time. I mean, I've got no Scottish family ties at all, but I do consider Scotland to be like almost a second home for me. I've been touring here for 25 years. My company comes every year. Um, I fell in love with Scotland. Made, I've made pieces about Scotland. <laughs> um, it's a great thing. It's very inspiring for me as well, I think, just to be able to connect with the talent that's, that's coming out of here. Uh, and also to be so close, the theatre being across the road, whenever I come here I feel I can come in, we, we, we can connect, which is a great relationship. I am immensely pleased and grateful for such an honour. Scotland has played an important part of my life from the beginning of my career. I think the, the main point that I'm making is that learning is an unending process through one's life. And I draw attention to the fact that in America, at least, such an address as I'm giving is called a commencement address, which is a beginning. And that, that is a very important thing to keep in mind, I think, through, through the duration of one's life. We're always learning.